Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. The showers and thunderstorms started up pretty early this morning, but now looking at the radar, this guy is pretty much the only game in town. Uh, it's a supercell that's north, uh, well, in the northern part of Sioux County right now, and it's traveling about uh, southeast at about 30 miles per hour. Not severe worn, but it could be on the stronger side with a little bit of uh, small hail and some gusty winds at the moment. We'll watch. If some other storms do form, we could be looking at a little bit of a severe threat then through the rest of the uh, afternoon and into the evening and uh, it's going to be mainly for hail and winds winds up to 60 miles per hour certainly possible but basically going to be covering the uh, southern part of the viewing area and it looks like the threats beginning to diminish storms have been as you could see rather isolated over the last few hours so we're not looking at any widespread severe weather but yeah, it's always a good idea to uh, kind of uh, keep away of uh, getting the latest information. Now, here is a look at that uh, storm here, looking south from our camera in downtown Bismarck. And you can see the updraft of it. It still looks pretty uh, pretty strong here, just judging visually. There's the updraft of it, and then you can see the anvil kind of shooting off towards the east. So pretty cool shot right there at the moment. Bismarck, we've seen just a few raindrops. It's 84 degrees at the moment. We have a west wind at 12 miles per hour. Dew point has been steadily increasing. Uh, temperatures in the 80s up towards Minot. It's 79 right now there in Harvey, 75 in Stanley, 78 in Williston. Temperatures a little cooler back towards the Montana border, 75 in Beach, and 73 degrees checking in there at Crosby dew points well yeah you can see uh, dew points are higher to the southeast here in fact the dew point of 59 degrees there in Linton and Emmons County where we go back towards the northwest and the air is much drier now I did manage to get to 82 degrees today in Bismarck but you saw the current temperature right now is 84 so this was actually uh, uh, before we actually warmed up more. So 84 degrees is the current high, which is 10 degrees above our average, of 74. Again, looking at the big picture here, there's the isolated thunderstorms that we've been tracking across the southern portion of the viewing area. Let's go ahead and roll precision cast. This cold front moving on through. It's a pretty weak cold front. We're not looking at much in the way of colder air, just some drier, cooler air moving in from the northwest. Uh, we'll see those storms uh, clear out by later this evening overnight pretty calm and then we'll be looking at possibly a few showers and maybe another thunderstorm rolling across by late tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon as that front actually stalls just south of the uh, South Dakota border by Thursday night tomorrow night things clear out again and by Friday we'll actually be looking at a pretty clear day which will be quiet but then uh, we start to see things become more active severe potential tomorrow again southeast counties, south central counties you'll be where we're watching tomorrow for the possibility of some marginal severe storms. Uh, lows tonight temperatures getting down into the 40s and 50s. It's going to be cool, especially to the northwest where we do have that drier air in place. Highs tomorrow temperatures in the 70s. So a pretty nice day out there tomorrow, albeit we do have the chance for some marginally severe weather to the south. Dickinson, again, slight chance for some thunderstorms tomorrow. And then Friday, sunny and warmer. And then Saturday. Saturday, we are going to be looking at more action, so to speak, here. Williston temperatures warming up as well. It's going to be windy on Saturday. We're going to be looking at a very potent upper level system moving on in and that's going to give us a chance for showers and thunderstorms Saturday they're going to be well they could be widespread and they could be on the strong to severe side again we're going to do it on Sunday so this weekend shaping up to be very interesting guys we're going to keep a very close eye on that mm -hmm. please do thank you very much coming up